and reach for the stars, wild ones. It's Bernadette, and I'm here with your Leo Tarot reading for May 2021. Leo, you've got the coolest spirit totem and power animal that's come out for you this month. It's Rat. And by the time you add Leo's courage and its moxie and, you know, it, the power of the lion, and then you, you marry that with the resourcefulness and smarts of a rat, Oh man, I don't even know what you're going to accomplish this month. It's going to be crazy. Now, you're used to standing and walking tall. You know, you're the ever confident Leo. But just remember, a grand Leo can learn a few lessons from its comparatively small rat brethren. And rat is working with you this month, scurrying around in your life to remind you of the importance of being creative and resourceful. Because sometimes you're just like, I, I don't want to do this to do this to do this to get that. I just want it right now, no matter what it takes. But now you're going to be, uh, during the month of May, you're going to be called to gather lots of little things from lots of different places that will help you get to the sum total of whatever it is that you want. Now, um, you know, this month might find you kind of reflecting on your career. You know, Leo, maybe you've hit a rut in your career or even your personal life and, and you've really got a penchant for enjoying the finer things. So that may lead you to overspend a bit, but putting your rats in a row, um, that may be important to you this month. And if you'll just let rat help you plot a course to success by showing you how to scour through the finer details and then get down to business, um, so instead of doing it like sometimes Leos can do, which is put the horse before the cart instead of the cart before the horse, oh man, it'll be super helpful for you. So, um, Lee, you know, rats can really, uh, help you protect your own interest in finances, career, personal life, uh, because they gather things and they gather them and then they put them in their little nests and their little hidey holes. And, and that can be, you know, rather than just everything is like a lavish buffet to you now, you know, maybe you hold a little bit of this back and you hold a little bit, bit of that back and eventually it all adds up to one kind of big pile of stuff. So while you aim for the sky, keep an eye on the ground as well so that you don't lose your footing. Now, um, for your zodiac sign, May is marked, um, for you astrologically by a ripple effect from drama taking shape in your opposite sign Aquarius. So paying attention to aspects between both Jupiter and Saturn in Aquarius and other transitioning planets may be important for you now. In particular, Saturn will come off in a few important aspects with other planets, and this month kicks off a lucky trine between Saturn and the moon's north node in Gemini, so you can come into the month feeling destined to follow a new path in your career. Now, surprising changes won't shake your confidence, but will more likely make you feel as if you're advancing towards your destiny. At the same time, Saturn is also forming a square uh, with the Sun in Taurus. And since Sun is your planetary, uh, your planetary ruler, Leo, you're going to feel like this ripple effect, you know, like the, the wind blowing through your luxurious mane. And these effects will be uh, relatively bleak brief. Woo, Lordy, I need to get some sleep, y'all. Um, these effects will be relatively brief. Ha ha. Okay. So um, also uh, not planting a seed, but just be kind of, you know, uh, be on alert, right? Be on alert as all lions can do, all cats can do as they survey their pride lands, because you might have a hiccup in your finances or personal sense of security the first few days of the month. Now, if you'll just, you know, stay steadfast in that uh, unbelievably amazing Leo confidence um, in everything, but in particular in your talents and creativity, you'll soon find ways to pivot and come out on top regardless of the initial challenges. Um, so also uh, from around the 1st of May through the 8th, the sun is in conjunction in Taurus uh, with both Uranus and Venus. So that might mean you may be in store for some surprises in your personal life and romance and, and personal relationships can be enhanced by unusual news, uh, maybe startling or dramatic changes. And the best way to describe this week is, well, volatile, <laughs> especially in love and finance. But that doesn't mean bad. It just means wowzers. So even though tumultuous changes may lead to needed breakthroughs and greater understanding, um, you know, in collaboration with colleagues and loved ones, uh, it'll be cool. Just, you know, roll, roll with the wind blowing through your mane. That's all you got to do. Now, May 11th, uh, 2021 through the 21st or so brings your zodiac sign another round of exciting and tumultuous energy. And that is when Saturn maintains a positive trine with the North Node throughout this time. So remember that any shocking challenges or um, challenging changes can ultimately serve your best evolution and uh, like your high evolution and growth spiritually, personally, mentally, emotionally, just all the growths. 
Uh, on the 11th, Saturn squares both the Sun and Uranus and Taurus, and unusual reflections can surface, bringing a, a need for greater awareness of what makes you feel secure. So you might be thinking of business, money, uh, and a career in a limited way, but this transit is going to bring to light uh, anything that's unsustainable, um, you know, assumptions, routines. And, and once the light is, is, is shown on that, you can get rid of it. It'll be awesome. So keep an eye out for that. Um, the remainder of this time frame will seem kind of like a relay race, which um, Saturn trines the first moon around the 13th and Mercury, Venus, and then back to the North Node. So uh, on or around the 22nd of May, the Sun in Gemini comes into a square with Jupiter and because now it's entering Pisces. And you might have a, uh, strong ideals and vivid dreams now, but this is an important time to remain clear about your mission. Daydreams, imagination, fantasies can fuel your ambitions, but this is not the time to lose yourself in wishful thinking without connecting the dots between the initial idea and the necessary actions. Remember, you always want, you know, whatever it is, you want it right there. You're not really interested in going through the steps to get it. You just want it. But now if you'll just one step at a time, one step at a time, um, that's going to serve you very well, Leo. So be sure to take the time to discern what your opportunities really are before becoming too complacent. And two interesting transits take place on the 24th. The moon in Scorpio comes into opposition with Uranus and Taurus at the same time that the sun in Gemini is uh, in a continued square to Jupiter in the early degrees of Pisces. So if you haven't worked through fantasies and wishful thinking to get really clear about what your potential choices are now, further confusion and even some self-delusion can be intensified. Don't do it. Don't do it. See the truth. Because if you will just do, if you'll just chillax and, and just, just take a second, take a pause. Um, think of it as you're hunting and, you know, do you really want to go for this or do you really want to go for that? And make sure that you're not going towards, you know, a fake, like a mirage, but you're going towards uh, what is really real. And part of that's going to have to do with your feelings. So take the time to untangle your feelings and ambitions so you don't distract yourself from the actual opportunities that are coming in front of you and will help you be super successful. So Leo, you know, what you desire or feel is meant to be on an intuitive level. Um, you know, that may not match up with the concrete evidence in front of you. So are you sure you're following your intuition or have you convinced yourself that things are meant to go your way, even amidst all of the evidence to the contrary? And if you set aside ego now, you can find the clarity you need to navigate those unusual changes that are coming and they those unusual changes can impact your career or financial standing. So again, you know, when cats get down and they're hunting something and they got their, you know, their hind end going like this before they pounce, before you pounce, make sure what you're looking at, right? Okay. Um, now on the 28th through the 30th, um, the sun comes into conjunction with the moon's north node in Gemini. And as the month winds to a close, your zodiac sign may have stronger convictions and clarity about a new path that you've got to take, that you want to take, you're being called toward, and that is, it, you're being called toward because it's a sacred journey for you. And creativity and collaboration are really likely to be a big part of your growth and evolution. So sounds like it, it sounds tumultuous, but you can handle it. And it's a very exciting month. If again, one more time, when you're, when you're looking through the eyes of your Leo ego, just make sure that you are not coming from uh, a place of ego that makes you see things that aren't there just because you want them to be. But that ego that is a solid and steady, maybe not ego so much as true confidence in yourself. I can't even imagine the amazing things that are going to unfold for you. So I hope that was helpful. Pick up your copy of the Arc Animal Tarot and Oracle deck. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. Get on over to my forums, gatheringofmystics.com. But all of that said, what is the most important thing to do good for animals, including yourself? Stay wild and keep reaching for those stars. <laughs>